So let's get more, though, on the economy right now with Joe Lavornia. He is managing director and chief U.S. economist of Deutsche Bank Securities. He joins us live from New York. Joe, great to have you on Street Smart. So 6%, where do you get 6% growth from? Because as you know, that's way above consensus. It, it is, Carol. I think that's, the, I mean, we marked up our, our Q4 number of 2009 to from four to five. Right. Six is certainly a risk, and, and six would even be a risk for 2010 if we use history as a guidepost, which says the average recovery 12 months after a recession ends is in the six, actually six and a half percent range. So if we're wrong, then I think the risk is we actually see an economy that looks more average, which in this case is actually pretty good because then it's a V-shaped recovery. So wait, do you say the risk is to the upside or the downside here in terms of your forecast? I would say in terms of our forecast, we're 4 percent for the full year. That's above consensus by about a point. I would say the risk to our forecast is clearly to the upside. Where do you get your optimism from? As you know, there are a lot of folks that stay, say that there are a lot of headwinds still out there. Uh, specifically, look at the housing market, look at the labor market. Right. I think those are fair points. But what I would say, Carol, is that monetary policy really did not get traction until last spring when the stress test encouraged private investors to come back into the market. And we saw a tremendous collapse in spreads, big move in equity prices. And what we've seen in the last six months is record amount of issuance. Companies have access to the capital markets at very generous terms. To me, that's a sign that monetary policy has traction. Companies will take that liquidity, that cash they've built up, the record profit. And I believe they will deploy that money. So I think the optimism comes from the health of uh, non-financial balance sheets, which look excellent. All right, but how does that translate into more jobs? I don't have to tell you, consumer spending, what, two-thirds, three-quarters of the economy, that's been a crucial, crucial uh, engine to growth in the past. Right. Um, if folks don't have jobs or they're still nervous, they're not going to be out there spending. That, that's right. But I would say this. Corporations look at the level of profits they have relative to the amount of people working we're back above trend. That's always been a great sign for hiring. Mm -hmm. I would basically say companies have a lot of cash on hand. They've got record amount of profits. And the issue is, will they deploy it? I would argue, yes, there's a lot of good investment opportunities out there. And we're basically making the bet that productivity growth has to slow. It's been unsustainably strong in our view. So as long as demand doesn't crater and there's no evidence of that, you have to get some labor input as productivity inevitably slows. All right. What would change your tune? I got about 30 seconds here, Joe. I would say, Carol, really uh, a breakdown uh, in, in risk taking in markets related to sovereign risk. If uh, you have sovereign risk default or fears of that default, that would certainly throw a monkey wrench into risk taking.